And then I'm a big believer in affinity space and affinity work. And I think people of color need to get away from white people <laughs> and, and have some community um, with each other. And I'll, I'll let that go and maybe see if anyone else wants to pick it up. Well, you understand love, don't you? No, no, I do not understand anything about white fragility. White fragility? What's that supposed to mean? You know what it means. You're doing it right now. Doing what? Being defensive about race. Robin D'Angelo wrote a whole book about it. Read it. Yet again. On page 39. Same, um, no, on page 39. cover and everything. On page 39. Cover and everything. report tonight says the social media app TikTok. The Biden administration is demanding TikTok. Now the question about TikTok. TikTok. The battle over TikTok. Trouble is brewing for TikTok. The headlines feel a lot like 2020. So we'll either close up TikTok in this country for security reasons or it'll be sold. We have said we have concerns uh, with this uh, particular app TikTok. We have said that. Yeah, it does sort of feel like deja vu from 2020. We were having a lot of these same conversations. Going Here's what you need to know about TikTok and why there's so much pressure to ban it. But I'm particularly concerned about TikTok's connections to the Chi Chinese Communist Party. So there are a range of concerns about TikTok, but the main concern is really rooted in TikTok's connection to China. TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, is based in China, and lawmakers are concerned that the Chinese government could use that connection to access U.S. user data. TikTok collects a range of data from its users, including users' location, IP addresses, what type of device they're using, and even what users are typing on their keyboards. Under Chinese Communist Party laws, the Chinese government can demand TikTok hand over that data. Has ByteDance spied on American citizens? I don't think that spying is the right way to describe it. The U.S. government, its military, multiple state governments, the EU, UK, and Canada have all restricted the use of TikTok on government devices, citing security concerns. There's also a concern that the Chinese government could force TikTok to spread propaganda to U.S. users, and that would affect users much more broadly than just government officials. The Trump investigation. And as we await word on a possible indictment, some security concerns at the courthouse today after a suspicious white powder was discovered there. What we know right now is that there was a package with suspicious white powder delivered to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office right here behind me. Now, according to reports, there was a note included in this envelope that said, quote, Alvin, I'll kill you. Now, this white substance has been deemed non-hazardous, but this all comes as DA Alvin Bragg is ramping up his investigation 
investigation into former President Donald Trump. Overnight, Trump took to his social media platform, Truth Social, warning of, quote, death and destruction if state prosecutors decide to charge him. Now, Hakeem Jeffries, a House minority leader, responded to these comments today. It's dangerous, and if he keeps it up, he's going to get someone killed. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries warning that former President Donald Trump might spark violence if he continues to urge his supporters to protest his possible indictments. Trump has suggested that legal action against him could trigger nationwide violence that could be, quote, catastrophic. Earlier this week, he also called Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg an animal, posting this picture to his social media platform, Truth Social, holding a bat next to Bragg's head. And he referred to the justice system as a Gestapo, which was a secret police of Nazi Germany. We've already seen the consequences of incitement from the former president. Trump is facing a series of state and federal investigations that could lead to possible indictments. The Manhattan case involving hush money payments to Stormy Daniels just before the 2016 election is the longest running. But Trump is also being investigated in Georgia for trying to pressure election officials to find him just enough votes to win the state in a 2020 presidential election. Additionally, the U.S. Department of Justice has two ongoing criminal investigations into Trump, one looking into how Trump handled classified documents. In this case, Trump's main defense attorney on Friday was forced to appear before a federal grand jury in Washington. And lastly, Trump is also being investigated for his role in the January 6 riots on the Capitol. The Justice Department has subpoenaed former Vice President Mike Pence to testify in this case. Pence, whose life was threatened on January 6, defended Trump again in an interview. No one's above the law, but no one is below the law. In the American people, are tired of a two-tiered justice system. Trump has denied any wrongdoing in all of these cases, and tomorrow in Waco, Texas, Trump is going to be holding his first major rally since declaring his candidacy.